everyone uses the term attack, you know, and everyone has in their back, in the back of their head, yeah, the idea that these orcas are mad at us, that they are seeking revenge for some reason, you know. Yeah. And, and this is this is one of the theory that has been out there that okay. they are seeking revenge. Uh, there is that theory that says that one of them got hit by a boat, and and she got mad, and so she wanted to yeah seek revenge from boats, and she taught that behavior to others. Um, first of all, there is no scientific evidence at all about that, uh, but it doesn't even make sense. I mean, when you pay attention to the way they interact with the boats, there is no, I mean, no slightest aggressivity in the way they do it. I mean, you just look at the, at the footage, at the image, and, and you can see. You look at the interaction, um, the idea that you have in your mind when you look at them, when you see them coming, is going to determine it the way you experience the whole thing. So I think it, it's very interesting to see the, the, the smile on the faces on the, of the crew and the magic of the moments when we had like these 15 orcas around the boat. And when you compare it to some footage of sailing boats where the orcas do actually the exact same thing, but you have people absolutely terrified just because they don't understand what these orcas are doing and because they think that these orcas are mad or that they are coming after the boat, they want to sink the boat, they, want to they are seeking revenge. But I mean, on a very objective um, point of view, you, you can see that if these orcas were actually seeking revenge or if they were mad, they would have sunk the 600 vessels that they had an interaction with. Y if you look at what orca do when, when they actually hunt, um, when they are being aggressive towards, I don't know, a seal or on an iceberg or whatever, you can see the difference. And you can definitely see that what they do with the sailing boats is just a game. It's, they are playing and they are being curious. Uh, so it's also about trying to make peace with that, you know, we don't need to add more terror <laughs> that we, we, than necessary. These are not, these are not dangerous animals for human beings. There have never been any injury or anyone ever killed by an orca in the wild. The only cases were in captivity with orcas driven mad by captivity, but in the wild, they don't, we simply are not on their menu. Okay, so uh, whereabouts do you normally see the orcas when you come across them? I know here, obviously, in the Strait of Gibraltar many times. Yes, they spend uh, most of the time in the Strait of Gibraltar between the Spanish and Moroccan waters, and they also go to the Portugal, to Portuguese waters, mm -hmm. and sometimes they go up north until Brittany in France, oh. but really most of the time is here between Spain and Morocco. And the last boat that was sunk was sunk uh, last month in Moroccan waters. So it's not very common for them to go a bit higher, Spain, you know, across the coast or? They do, but at another period of the year. I okay. In the winter, they can, they can go up to Brittany in, in northern France. This okay. is the same individuals that have been spotted there. But really, their main area is here because that's where bluefin tuna is. <laughs> and so they follow the migration of bluefin tuna, basically. Oh, okay. And uh, tell us a bit about today. What are we hoping to see today? So today we are going to patrol the area, um, see if we find the orcas and make sure that they are fine. If they are sailing boats, then we're going to advise them on what to do, what not to do, what routes to, uh, to avoid. And yeah, make sure that no one is harming the orcas or sending explosives or anything of the sort. And uh, then the next step is going to be to go to Morocco. Uh, because um, I'm, I'm more worried about the Moroccan sites, to be honest, because these are small fishermen in little wooden barks, you know, and most of them don't know how to swim. And sometimes if the orcas just push um, the boat, if for some reason one of the guys falls in water, they can drown. And if that happens, it's going to be, well, it's going to be terrible for the person but it's also going to be terrible for the orcas. So this is like the worst case scenario that we absolutely want to avoid because there will be retaliation against the orcas. Even if they had no killing intention, 
because of the context in, uh, within Moroccan fishermen, it could be a tragedy. And uh, we are here also to avoid that. So t being in touch with the Moroccan government and talk with the Moroccan fishermen and see how we can yeah, arrange the situation to, to avoid these very risky, risky situations.